Welcome back to the channel, it's good to have you. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about my lights. Um, it's a simple setup, anybody can do this. If you don't have, if you're, if you're a painter and you, you crave north light and you're looking for the, a, a great way to have uh, soft light kind of coming down onto your, your canvas and your still life and, and just in your work area in general, I've got a great tip for you. Stick around. All right, so all together I'm using two lights on a boom pole on this on camera right side and trying to try to put the light up on the ceiling kind of overhead so that I get, I don't know if you can see that shadow or not, but try to get light coming down this way. And then I use uh, one, I'm calling it the key light. This, this other light here is mainly for fill to bring some light in. And then this key light here um, put specular highlights and some some depth in in the subject matter uh, so get some edges and, and things like that so I, that's what that one's for it doesn't live there all the time I actually move it around quite a bit and that that does kind of stink it'd be nice to have it in one place and leave it there but uh, my door is there too so I, I do need to move it uh, lastly the the light that's up here is also facing the ceiling I keep this up here to block the glare from my eyes when I'm painting. Uh, all of the lamps are 5,000 degrees Kelvin for daylight. They're daylight balanced basically. 1,600 lumens, which is quite a bit for each each one. Uh, the bulbs, I can't remember what I paid. I wanna say they're probably $15 a piece. Don't quote me on that, um, that's just a guess. I like this setup because the paint, when I look at the paint in the room, it looks the same on the brush so I can hold it up and look at the, the subject matter and kind of do a comparison side by side of, you know, does this really look like that same color of the subject? And I struggle with that quite a bit. Uh, whenever you have a glare or the, the, the still life has a different light on it than what your canvas does, sometimes it's a little hard to, to get that right because you're not really into the same light. So. Uh, each one of the, the clip-on clamp light holders, I don't know what you want to call them, they're, they're just lamps, but uh, you can get those at your large hardware stores um, for around 10, 15 bucks. So all together, you know, you figure under $100, you can have four, four pretty decent lamps with a lot of light, and uh, you soften them up a little bit here and there, and, you know, the hit in the ceiling softens it up quite a, quite a bit by bouncing the light back down. And then uh, if you have a key light like I'm using, you can, you can soften it up with uh, any kind of diffusion. Um, an old shower curtain, if you want to cut it into a small square, you can, you can do that. So I'm using an internal diffusion panel from a, a light box I use for photography. But um, yeah, that's all I got. It's a quick tip today. I know this is pretty, uh, pretty much a quick, quick video, but um, yeah, I want to knock one out for you so you can get some ideas before the weekend. Have a great one. See ya.